morning and uh, welcome to another day. Uh, we're on day three on uh, Harrison Lewis. As you can see, I'm in a parking place. Uh, not even a parking place, a passing place even. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the single track roads. There's, some, there's loads of single track roads, but up in Scotland really, really have nailed tourism and uh, traveling because there's passing places everywhere. So it's absolutely brilliant. The morning started off grey as you can see, um, overcast, but with some grey scale in the sky. That's a good way of putting it, and grey scale. You look over in the distance over there, there's a, a lighter layer, darker layer. Above me you've got some texture up in the clouds up there, so it's really not as bad as yesterday because yesterday was just white and looked really boring. So there is some colour and definition in the sky which I quite like. This is this is more my scene, can make these nice moody grungy images. Um, even the soft light works quite well as well. There's not a lot of wind and I haven't got my hat on because I've just nipped out the car to say good morning. Um, what I have done is I've just been down there. Uh, you can't see it from here. I don't even think if I lift it up. Just down on the bottom there, there's a little um, bit of a fence to nowhere. A little fence leading into one of these locks or ponds or whatever you want to call them. I, t I assume they're, I don't know what they are. I, I suppose they're called locks. Um, I've got the three windmills in the distance. Now, my memories of the island so far is going to be windmills. There's windmills dotted everywhere because it's so barren, it's flat, and I expect you get an awful lot of wind up here. Um, so, yeah, there's windmills everywhere. You can see windmills in the distance over that way. Uh, we've got power lines as well. There's going to be a few of my images with power lines in because the power lines are obviously not buried on the island. As you can see down there, the power lines running through. They're everywhere. They're all over the island because I suppose that's the only way of getting the power from one side to the other. Um, so that's part of it, that's part of Harrison Lewis, and that's what you're gonna get, oh, get in your photographs. Um, yeah, I went down there, I got a couple of beautiful, beautiful little shots. The, the water was pretty still down there, like I say, was, there's not a lot of wind this morning. I've done a couple of long exposures as well. I didn't take the camera down there because I wasn't expecting to actually find anything too amazing, but when I got down there, I think it's pretty good. Um, I've had to walk across this bog. Um, I went right down to the shoreline, I found a bit of a track that got me down there and went along the shoreline but I tried going across this and there's some right dodgy looking black areas and I'm like no chance am I going to put my foot in there and frighten myself in Scotland didn't I last year. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> shot across the lake or the lock, got the windmills in the distance and the little mountain range over in the background. I think what we're going to do, we're heading towards the uh, stacks, I can't remember what they're called, it begins with M, uh, I'll bob the name up for you if I, if I remember to do it when I'm watching the video back and uh, yeah. We're heading that way over to the sea stacks, which is supposed to be a pretty iconic place to go and visit um, and make the most of the day. So right, see you in a bit. Another quick pit stop. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. <laughs> wow. I've heard there's a few cars lying around, but that's uh, immense, isn't it? Got to be a breaker in it down here. But I stopped for this originally. Look at that little house there. How fantastic is that? So I've just pulled up, got the camera out, put the tripod up and uh, got a couple of shots of it. Trying to make the sky be nice and moody, I would have thought. Nice and deep, dark, moody sky. And that lovely red tin roof just bursting out in the image. Um, shooting with me Fuji. I've not had the need to get the cannon out yet. I don't find anything that powerful that I need to get the cannon out that the Fuji's not gonna handle, but that is stunning. And I've taken a couple of shots of this as well. But, pff, wow we what a fantastic, fantastic looking place this is. I'm gonna carry on. We are heading towards the sea stacks, like I've mentioned. And, uh, but every time I stop, I'll get you out and show you what we're doing. You can't miss these things, can you?
Right, we've just stopped. We noticed a post box. No, we didn't. We noticed that. <laughs> Food is in my hand. Mrs. C is with me, and we're going to go and have a look at something. We've spotted this. I've just spotted this from the road, and uh, I've got to come down and have a nose at this. And oh, watching what we're stepping on, of course. Same old, same old. Looks like a right bit of fly tip in here. Let's just be careful as you're stepping around it, babe. Nice microwave, stereo, that side might be easier, you'll be alright if you step round carefully. Yeah, uh, fly tipping or whatever, it might be a builder's, I don't know, builder's working down here, but I assume this uh, caravan has caught the wind. But there's no actual driveway here, look, it's just green, but how on earth did this caravan get up against this house <laughs> and I can't believe this down here this is just amazing you're gonna love this if this don't make you chuckle I'll be absolutely gobsmacked I'm just finding where I'm putting my feet finding where I put my feet there's all sorts around oh god look at that for a bog <laughs> you'll get it in a minute but that's not the joke um, yeah right let's be very careful now oh. Yeah, we don't want to be stepping in that at all because we'll probably be up to our neck. Um, but all this under my feet. Oh, I'm stuck now and I need to get around the other side. I need to explore. I've got to show you this. Got to show you this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just trying to get around without getting stuck in the bog. Oh. Right, we're here, we're here, we're here. Don't you just love this? Uh, oh, look at this. That's what's worthy of a shot. Let's wind the old lens out a bit. Sorry about this. Just a bit of a... Oh, we've still got it on um, bracketing. We don't need that, do we? But yeah, one random bike. Um, this caravan's looking a bit sorry for itself, isn't it? A bit sorry. And there's another random bike and a shoe. <laughs> this, is, this is bonkers. This is absolutely bonkers. You ready for this? You ready for this? I said be careful of stepping in the bog. Oh my God. Is that not a room with a view or what? <laughs> Look at this, and it's still here. That's just crazy, that's just totally insane. Absolutely, totally insane. I've got to get a photograph of it. Uh, got to get a photograph of it. it. just I just can't believe that that's the only thing left. You've got a gable there and a gable here. There's nothing left other than that bit of porcelain. Right, let me get a shot of this and I'll be back with you in a bit. another pit stop uh, literally <laughs> a mile or two up the road I just can't help myself that that toilet I've just been sat on which is just buzzing 
so funny. Um, we're, we're not even half a mile up the road. I saw this view from down there and I took a panoramic of the, of the view. Literally come up half a mile, mile if that, and the view's just opened up and it's absolutely spectacular from here. Now, I've got my Benro out with my self-leveling head and I put the long lens on and I'm gonna set it up in a moment. Um, probably on the other side of the road, stop the traffic running past me. And I wanna shoot this. You can't see it very well in front of, on, on there, but that bit there, I wanna shoot that. I love that snaky little bit of water, the mountains in the background, and these clouds look like they've got a long exposure on them already. It's uh, a soft light, but uh, really, really nice. So it's actually turning out pretty cool. So when we actually eventually get to the stacks, which I may make another video, otherwise this will be too long. This is gonna be another one of them clip together, stop, start, stop, start ones. Um, and when we get to the stacks, I'll probably run another video, so you'll, you'll see that next. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna set up for this, take this image. Um, the light's changing all the time, so I don't know if I'm gonna get time to talk you through it, but I'm gonna do my best. And look at these, there's a little house down here as well, a little red house and another derelict one. So why I'm here, we'll have a snap of that as well. Camera's all set up now, uh, got it nice and level, looking at the little ball head on the top. Uh, this is a cracking little piece of kit, it really is, just loosen this one off and the whole lot just swivels around and you can get it nice and level with a little ball there on the top there. So uh, yeah, brilliant little addition to the tripod and with it being so tall you can really push it right down in the ground in front of me down the verge and I can still get to it. All we're doing then is we're panning round, as we can see there, we'll just pan round like that taking one shot at a time, taking a hand off while you take the shot. Two second timer, always put a two second timer on uh, and that just lets the steadiness just settle before the fire, before the camera fires a shot off. Um, again, the, like I say, the light's been changing a little bit. It's gone a little bit flatter than when I was talking to you over there, um, but it's still a nice scene, it's still nice. It's still my day, I'm still here. You know, this is when I was here, so I can't change it. The clouds up there though, the clouds up there look pretty awesome. They look fantastic, they've got some real lines and ripples through them. But it's quite a strange looking sky. It's almost like a thunderous, you know, I don't know, it's just long and wispy. Strange, it's almost like someone's put a 10 stop on my glasses, which <laughs> they have. Um, but yeah, I'll, sh I'll take this shot, make sure I've got it right, make sure it's sharp, make sure it's focused, all manual settings, uh, 200 of a second, ISO 200, and we're about 150. 25 mil 140 mil maybe um and uh f8 i think we're on so yeah everything manual so that when you pan round it doesn't change so i'll get this one sorted out and make sure i've got I've got what i want and make sure i'm happy with it and uh yeah see you at the next location Ciao. As you can see, we have coats on. Uh, we've just arrived at our next location. So as we've arrived at our next location, and this is uh, one of the biggest ones I've wanted to see as well, or one of the big ones, should I say, that I've wanted to visit. Um, all the other little stops we've been having on the way over today are just purely just stop-offs as we're driving along the island. We're just stopping and seeing these different little things and uh, pulling up and uh, enjoying the photography, really. So I'm gonna say goodbye, say thanks for watching this today. And uh, if I do find any more as we're heading up the north coast again after we've been down here, but we'll probably be here for a few hours. Um, if I do find any other crazy little locations to pull in and take a few snapshots, I'll put you back on and add it all together for you. Um, just a bit of a random one. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for seeing. Watch. Gone again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with it for another one. And I know it's been random, but enjoy this next episode. Uh, this one could be quite nice. I've been wanting to see this for a long time. So. Till next time, don't forget to stay tuned and stay watching. Ciao for now. Bye.